I do. I do that thing. I do. Yeah. I was like, Someone's come to hide because someone doesn't want their trousers put on. Morning, guys. I. I can't see if I'm in view because my the screws have come out of my screen again and it's flipped back. Oh, and Delilah's gonna vlog for me instead. So, guys, <laughs> basically, I'm just getting my bag yeah. ready. I'm <laughs> I'm shoving some clothes in here for me to change into later. I'm just about to leave for my bar class. Really looking forward to. Um, I always love going to my bar classes every, um, on a Saturday. Um, I didn't think it would turn into a regular thing, but I I really like going every Saturday now. And then Doug and I are going to be leaving for um, a little day out together um, straight after bar. So I've had to be really organised. I've packed up my returns so I can drop those off at the post office before just after my bar class. I've popped a change of clothes in here. I've packed my other bag with my essential um, day out items like my water bottle got my big one litre one because obviously i'm going to an exercise class umbrella just in case so i probably won't need that my coffee cup got some snacks in here got banana got some grapes i've got my straw in case i need a straw just the usual stuff all ready to go i just need to i don't know if you can see this and i know other vloggers have had this problem as well with this uh um with this version of the g7x oh no i can't show you but the screen's basically flapping around so i need to ah the screws over here <laughs> basically need to use this little screw to just screw the um little screws back in I'm, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna take a coat out with me today because the weather has started to cheer up a bit i've actually got a maternity maternity asos vest on but you can't tell i'm just gonna wear this to um the class today it's got no sleeves so it's nice and airy i've got my my favourite free people, um, I think they're called like the body sculpt um, leggings, I'll link them in the description, they're my favourite. And these are also my favourite trainers, I've never liked trainers and you guys ask me about these all the time on Instagram. I've got the pink pair as well, they are just, I honestly sometimes choose to wear these just when I'm not working out and going out, that's how much I love them. And it says a lot because I've never been a trainer person, but they're just so comfy, they just feel like you're wearing a sock. Anyway, um, Mummy should probably go, shouldn't she? Can Mummy have a cuddle and a kiss? Because Mummy's not going to see you till tomorrow now. Oh, okay. <sighs> Very hot in today's class. Sweaty. A lot. Dog's just me up. Looking ever so enthusiastic <sighs> today. Dog's just dropped Delilah off at his parents. She's going to spend the day and night there. And we are off, well, in a second. I need to jump out of the post office um, and send off a couple of ASOS returns. And then we're going to be heading to Blue Water. I think last time we went to Blue Water, Delilah was and I'd just gotten over a sick bug and I remember she had a poo explosion in Oaxaca. Was that oh, yeah. the last time we went? Uh, With went, Tom and... I've been free, I've been since then, so yeah, so shopping for friends. Oh, okay. The last time I went, Delilah was, Delilah was a baby baby. I think she was only a few months old. I need to probably jump out now, don't I? And go to the post office, right? Where am I, where's my stuff? We are now en route to Blue Water because um, I've got a little bit of work with an ice cream brand. And then we thought, well, if we're going to be driving to Blue Water, why not make a, make a day out of it? We didn't want to have to rush back um, and it just kind of made sense that Delilah stays at her grandparents this evening. It's always nice for her to see them and then to hang with her. But yeah, it's going to be a nice kind of like date day slash night. I don't know why I'm vlogging so much because I think the sound is always terrible in the car. Whenever Delilah stays at Doug's parents, it's usually because we're going out and we end up having a late night. Um, we never, she never stays there for no reason. Um, and so today we were like, oh, let's just like, let's just chill and go to the cinema later after a lovely day at Blue Water. <laughs> Windy. I'm really annoyed with myself because I packed a little makeup bag of just like concealer, a bit of mascara. I think I've I think I've left it at home. I think my makeup's um quite intact after that class, luckily. Um but would it be nice to like top it up a little bit, but oh well. 
we have found the ice cream place. This is our ice creams being made. How cool is that? So they make them with liquid um, nitrogen. And another one being made. So we've got our ice creams. This one is the summer summer garden. Doug's got lavender and honey, which sounds amazing. Just finished taking photos and I've got to try and quickly eat this before it melts. It's already half melted because we've been taking photos for the last 10 minutes. Doug and I have uh, split up. We're really zoomed in right now. We thought we'd get lunch in about an hour, so uh, we thought we'd go around the shops a little bit. I was just planning on looking for some stuff for Delilah, but I mean, we're in Blue Water, so you can't come to Blue Water and not shop. We've come into H&M, Doug's gone upstairs to the men's section, and I'm just looking in the way just to see if there's anything that takes my fancy. Going into Urban Outfitters, this could be dangerous. Okay, and Doug is off. <laughs> oh, I love this jumper. I mean, of course I love this jumper. It's, it's a stripy jumper. Oh my gosh. I really like it though. I love, I love the back. I've picked up a few bits to try on. Just reunited with Doug. And it looks like we have, we're both feeling the, uh, the corduroy. 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 Cord, cord. Picked up the little pink one. And what, did you, what have you picked up, Doug? Can we talk. Can you wear them together? No, um, I mean, you, you could. You could. Hey, three, please. This is a very jazzy changing room. Look at this. I don't know if you can hear me because the music's really loud. Picked up a few bits to try on. I'll see if I can find them online and link them in the description. This has turned into um, an impromptu kind of come shopping with Doug and Rhiannon slash try on haul type thing. <laughs> I like it. I know, I know, it's uh, it's a stripy jumper. It's it got my name written all over it, but I like this. I think this is a really nice throw over jumper for this time of year going into the summer. And I know you can't really see it because I've got, it looks a bit weird with my jumpsuit on as well. But um, I really, I really like the back. It's in this um, very kind of cool, cool cotton type knit. It's not like a hot, fluffy jumper. I like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. Guys, I really like this. I like that it's like a proper little pinny rather than um, kind of like a dungarees pinny with the buckles here. Um, I, I really like the shape, but it is very small. And I mean, I'm, I usually struggle with dresses being a little bit too long on me because I'm 5'4", so I'm, I'm not like really short, but I'm also not really tall. But this is really short. Generally, mini skirts and dresses shouldn't go um, above where your fingertips hit. It's a little tip for you guys, something I learned growing up doing fashion. As you can see, it's quite far above my fingertips. Even with tights, I'm not sure if it's appropriate. That is so not appropriate. This is an extra small. I'll see if the small is slightly longer. And this is the last item. It's a really lovely cut, fits really well. I don't usually go for um, strappy tops like this. It's really nice quality though. It's lined, so it's nice and nice and thick, so it's not going to be see through. I love that it's got pockets, but um, I think I might give this a miss. Don't usually go for these necklines slash it's white, which isn't the best for the toddler. <laughs> We're walking out of Urban Outfitters, and there's like some clothes rails on top of like these big chunky wooden blocks that have like like a gap underneath, and. Because there was like no bales on one of them. I just, I didn't see it and it's wooden floor, it like blends in with the floor and I like managed to get my foot at the top of my foot underneath it and I just basically kicked it and it hurt so bad and now I'm hobbling. It is getting better though so I don't think I've done any like bad damage. I just see I'm going to have a very bruised foot. It's probably an appropriate time to go find somewhere for lunch. Hopefully once I've sat down for a bit. I won't be hobbling anymore. We have decided to come to Pizza Express. Just ordered myself one of their non-alcoholic cocktails called the Seedlip Garden. Um, it looks interesting. I fancy something nice and cold and refreshing, so I thought I'd go for a virgin cocktail. I really like the decor in here. I kind of want to steal those lamps there. Whenever I come to a restaurant or go to an event or something, I'm always eyeing up the decor. I'm like, oh, I like that sofa. I want that chair. 
Maybe that's a sign. I also forgot they've got a white company, so uh, we've got to come in here. Found the little white company section. I swear, I, I, buy, I get more joy out of buying clothes for Delilah than myself anymore. Look how cute these all are. Oh, it's three to four years, this one. Oh, this one's a hair size, but it's got a mark on it. This is really sweet, little, little leggings. And um, peplum Dog's very amused by this t-shirt. We're in um, we're in Zara Kids at the moment. We're having a little little ponder at the stuff. Found a couple of little bits for Delilah. I'll show you them when we get back to the car. I'm gonna pick up an iced coffee before we head to the car. Thank you. It is really warm today. Forget how warm this outfit is. Ooh, grabbed an iced coffee on the way out. My first iced coffee in ages because our Starbucks in our in the, the Starbucks in our town closed. I think they're reopening to another store. I had one on the way one, on the way to Bath. I took my own cup. I had a, a big long, like a long glass reusable keep cup. Um, I didn't plan on getting an iced coffee today, so I didn't bring it. It killed me a little bit getting a, getting this in a plastic cup, but. I can't remember the last time I bought a beverage, be it water or coffee, in a non-reusable plastic or um, unrecyclable um, container. This is the first bit of um, plastic I've bought drinks-wise for a long time, so forgive me. I have got my own straw, so I've got uh, my stainless steel straw in here, so I don't feel as bad. I've got a, um, a cappuccino, fr see Frido sounds better, but I think it's Freddo. Cappuccino Freddo. Mm. It's not spelled right into your name. Ria Hanna. Ria Have you seen how they spelled my name? Hmm. <coughs> Put an extra H and an A in mine. Oh. Put Riyama in yours and mine's Oh, this is how they spelled mine and Doug's as well. My name on both the cups is spelled them a little bit differently. Oh, yeah, I forgot how much I loved iced coffees, especially because really hot today. I've also been really good at just generally not getting coffee out that much. I probably maybe get coffee once a week if that at the moment out. Let me show you the two little bits that I got Delilah. We ended up ordering the item that I saw in White Company to be delivered to ours because there was a little mark on it and I wasn't sure what it was so I don't know whether it would come out in the wash and they said don't worry we'll get it ordered um, and sent to your home address so that should be with us at some point next week and it was really it was just really sweet it's little navy blue leggings and um, a nice little summer top this is the first summer Delilah's sort of properly up and walking and toddling around so she's just gonna look so cute with her little squidgy arms out and her little summer dresses people are looking at me vlogging in the car park this is what graveyard girl must feel like when she does her car vlogs I've not watched graveyard girl for so long I need to catch up on her videos anyway I bought her this which which reminds me of like a candy cane or a little bag you get um, sweets in. I got her this in 18 to 24 months because she needs some stuff that's not gonna that's gonna not be too oversized and like if a dress is oversized it she can't really wear it and she will need some stuff really soon to fit into. It's this candy stripe dress with this um, floral embroidery and then I got her this top for when it's not <sighs> uh. 
and then I've got her this top which buttons up mm. at the back and at the front she's this really lovely embroidered top I mean she can even wear this it's two to three years so I mean this will do her throughout autumn and winter layer it up have it with jeans and jumpers and cardigans and stuff it's very sweet so I picked her up those two things we are now going to head home it's half three what time's the cinema 20 to 6 oh okay so um we have decided we're going to go to the cinema later on this evening and i can't remember the last time i went to the cinema at half five in the evening but we thought we might as well go to an earlier viewing because it will mean we'll get to have um go to bed at a decent time so yeah we're going to go to the cinema later to watch is it love simon yeah yes yeah, so we're gonna go watch love simon hey who who are we today like, who are we going shopping having lunch out getting coffee and then going to the cinema in the early evening i mean i can't remember the last time last time i had a day like this <laughs> it's been nice nice and chill and we're back home for all of about half an hour i've forgotten how much although i don't like the weather when it's really hot like the last couple of years um i've actually really enjoyed having colder weather during the autumn and winter but you forget how much of a difference the sun makes like we've come in we've come home i've come into the bedroom and the sun's shining and the room just feels so bright and airy it makes a huge difference it feels really nice as much as i'm comfy i'm quite warm <laughs> dog blowing his nose i'm tempted to change into gonna see if my jeans the reason i didn't wear jeans today is because they're still wet on the radiator so if they're dry i might wear my jeans to the cinema because they're a little bit cooler i'm tempted to pop this on with my jeans i feel like you guys might see me in this a lot this month there was a lady who was working in urban outfitters wearing this and she was wearing it this way around with that at the front the label is on the left here so maybe you are meant to wear it that way around but it just kind of feels a bit odd wearing it like that as we have a little bit of time before we need to go to the cinema i'm going to do a bit of editing because i really need to get some done i should have edited last night but i i've just had so little sleep this week that i needed i needed to go to bed last night i couldn't do another late night and uh early morning I swear when I work, I just sit like a little golem with my legs up. Dog's over there, Instagramming. To think this was the guy who didn't even have Twitter when I first met him. Busy at work, he's just ignoring me now. <laughs> Third outfit change of the day and I have on my new comfy jumper for Merman Outfitters. I'm going to pop on my jacket because I feel like this is a little bit little bit revealing i then have my freshly washed asos mum jeans on and uh, they're currently just looking like skinny jeans <laughs> once i sat down in the cinema for a bit and worn them um today they will be back to kind of baggy mum jeans but they're still very comfortable i've then got these shoes on that i got from topshop a couple of weeks ago it's rare that i mix up my shoes it's usually either chelsea boots converse or ballet pumps i don't mix my shoes up that much and um, i saw these in topshop the other day and i quite liked them i'll link them if i can i think they're i think they're new in topshop for spring summer but they're kind of a little bit different i like them and not many sandals and slip on shoes fit my feet because i have quite wide feet i had some gorgeous ones from free people but they didn't have backs on and my feet just kept slipping out i couldn't walk in them but these are really comfortable i'd say they are maybe a lid run a little bit small these are seven and i'm like a six six and a half i don't know if you can see it in this light but they've got a couple of little tassels here doug's got one of his new t-shirts on today <laughs> can you see it <laughs> i like it he doesn't normally get stuff like that but i quite like it it's like very big oversized um very 90s um, kind of reminds me of the t-shirts my dad used to wear when i was younger keys fine that's all i need isn't it right let's go this has turned out to be a much longer vlog than i thought it was going to be so i may just put this up as a, a single day vlog thank you got myself some munchies i haven't had these for years i used to love them when i was little and then Doug's got some popcorn, which I might steal a little bit of his popcorn too. Alright, I'm the threat. Oh, 
guys, I cried like five times in that film. <laughs> I get so emotional when I watch any film. Typical British weather. It's been a lovely day and we've just come out and it's still, it's still light, um, almost. <laughs> it's eight o'clock, but it's raining. So luckily we parked very close to the cinema. Guys, that was such a lovely film. Oh, I loved it. I'm still good laughing at. Oh, hold on, wait. <laughs> um, his mum's just sent us a photo of Delilah. A video, a video. Herself. Like she knew she didn't just like go down face forward, reposition herself and sit on her bum. Yeah. <laughs> just went a little bit squiff, a little bit squiffy. I'm going home now. Had a great day. We're gonna be home by eight o'clock. Brilliant. I'd sort of like roughly heard of Love Simon. I couldn't remember like I'd heard of it, but I'd never not seen the trailer. And Doug was like, Oh, there's this film that looks quite good. I'm really glad we went to go see it. It's ba I'm rubbish at explaining films, but basically, uh, it's set in America and it's about a 17 year old guy coming out and his story and it's just a genuinely bloody good film yeah it's got a couple of the characters from 13 reasons why in um the other actors i didn't recognize um but it was funny i cried lots it was all feel good it was lovely it was a really lovely film and it was kind of just a little bit different to the general um general stuff that's out. I like it when you see films you think oh it's a little bit a little bit different than the usual stuff we watch. That's good. I really recommend it. Go watch it. It's good. Look at the sky guys. I've never seen a sky like that. Oh and it's gone. That's so like bright pink. Wow. I think Delilah put her little shoes in the bedroom this morning when I went. Let's pop these back. I'm waiting for the oven to preheat because I'm going to reheat my pizza and finish off my leftovers from earlier. And before I put my pizza in the oven, I am going to put my hair up, take my makeup off so I'm all ready for bed because usually what I do is once we've put Delilah to bed, all I want to do is just get on the sofa and have dinner. And then when it comes to bedtime, I think, oh, now I've got to take my makeup off, plait my hair. I'm going to get that done now so that when we decide to go to bed, it's all done. Do you guys ever plait your hair and sometimes it ends up really wonky? I don't know where this bit of hair has come from. Small long bit of hair. It's like really chunky on this side. I just remembered I've got to wear my hair like this to spin tomorrow so I might have to just like clip it up at the back. I've got my pizza, fairy lights are on, lit some candles it's really nice and cozy graham norton started again i mean this day just gets better okay is that jamie no that's not jamie bell is it he looks far too young the one who played he looks like jamie bell though i'm gonna enjoy the last little bit of our day slash evening it's been a really nice lovely day hope you guys have enjoyed hanging out with us kind of feels like the uh feels like the old vlogs i'll see you guys in the next don't know what my arm's doing i'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> That's such a weird ending. Bye. Bye.